consider the binomial expansion x plus 1 to the power of 7 shows that b is 21. So, the binomial expansion of x plus 1 to the power of 7 is combinations 0 out of 7. We start with the greatest power of x, so it's x to the power of 7, 1 to the power of 0, plus combinations 1 out of 7, x to the power of 6, 1 to the power of 1, plus combinations 2 out of 7, x to the power of 5, 1 to the power of 2, plus combinations 3 out of 7, x to the power of 4, x uh, uh, 1 to the power of 3 plus and so on up to combination 7 uh, out of 7, x to the power of 0, 1 to the power of 7. Let's write it, combination 7 out of 7, x to the power of 0, 1 to the power of 7. And Hence, we can see that term containing x to the power of 5, it's bx to the power of 5, is combinations 2 out of 7, x to the power of 5. And hence, b is combinations 2 out of 7, formula is given in the data booklet. It becomes 7 factorial, 2 factorial, and 7 minus 2, 5 factorial. We can simplify it, it's uh, 7 times 6 and it's 21 as required. You may use uh, sigma, uh, sigma notation for a given binomial expansion and x plus 1 to the power of 7, it's the sum for i uh, from 0 up to 7 combinations i out of 7 x to the power of i, 1 to the power of 7 minus i. And since 1 to any power it's 1, we can simplify it. And uh, if you need term containing x to the power of 5, you just consider i to be equal to 5 and it becomes combinations 5 out of 7x uh, to the power of 5 is uh, bx to the power of 5. And hence b is uh, combinations 5 out of 7, which is 7 factorial, 5 factorial, 7 minus 5, 2 factorial, and it's uh, also 21 as required. Part B. The third term in the expansion is the mean of the second and the fourth terms of uh, the expansion. So, uh, the third term, it's b x to the power of 5, it's 21 x to the power of 5, is uh, the mean of the two, uh, two terms. So, we need add these two terms and divide by 2. So, the mean of the second and of the fourth. This, uh, the second is a x to the power of 6. And the fourth is uh, 35x to the power of 4. And we can see that we need a. To find a, if you use sigma notation, you should consider i uh, to be equal to 6. And uh, from uh, this expansion, we can see that uh, a is just combinations, or ax to the power of 6, it's uh, combinations 1 out of 7 x to the power of 6 hence a is combinations 1 out of 7 which is 7 factorial over 1 factorial 7 minus 1 6 factorial and it's just 7 and uh, let's multiply both sides by 2 to get 42 x to the power of 5 is 7 x to the power of 6 plus 35 x to the power of 4 since x is not 0 and 0 is not a root, we can divide each, ter each term by x to the power of 4 and get 42x is 7x squared plus 35 and we can see that we get a quadratic equation and to solve it we move all terms uh, to one side. It becomes 7x squared minus 42x plus 35 
is 0 and we can see that we can divide each term by 7 to simplify it and it becomes x squared minus 6x plus 5 is 0 and let's try sum and product rule sum of uh, roots is uh, minus b over a it's 6 product is c over a it's 5 and we can see that the first root is 1 the second is uh, 5 and these are required values of x and that's all for this question